Hello, this is Team 20 representing. Uh, our project is all about implementing the idea of a smart greenhouse, which is considered uh, nowadays uh, a revolution in agriculture as uh, it is a self-regulating microclimate controlled environment for optimal plant growth. Uh, our idea compromises the automation of the planting process based on level of humidity and light intensity. Um, Small variations in these climatic conditions trigger uh, automated actions, which then evaluate, uh, change, and take corrective actions, thus uh, maintaining optimal conditions for plant growth. Our project consists of two different types of inputs, which are the humidity sensor and a light intensity sensor, and three different outputs, which are uh, a seven segment display, a water pump, and a fluorescent light source. This was all about the overview of the project, and Nada will be explaining all about the code. Hi, my name is Nada, and today I'm going to explain about the software part of the project. So let's start with the main code. The entity of the code has two input vectors. These uh, inputs uh, uh, correspond to the, 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 the digital reading of the sensors. Uh, we also have uh, uh, one output vector. Uh, to uh, control the pump and the three uh, bit uh, output vector to control the lamps. We also have uh, six, uh, seven uh, bit uh, vectors uh, to, to display the reading of uh, the sensors on the seven segment display of the board. Inside the architecture of the code, we have a process and we have the conditions uh, on the reading uh, of, of uh, the sensors. For example, for the humidity sensor, if the value of the sensor is below uh, 100, uh, the pump will not work, uh, and if it exceeds this, uh, the value one, uh, 150, the pump will uh, work. And the uh, same uh, is done for the light intensity sensor. After the process ends, we convert the binary reading of the sensors uh, to the corresponding BCD um, uh, numbers, so we could display them on the seven segment display. In the BCD conversion board, we have an 8-bit input vector and the three 4-bit output vectors. Each one represents a number that we want to display on the seven segment. Inside the architecture, we have a process and we have the variable. The variable is 20 bits. We concatenate the 12 bits to the input vector. The first four bits of these 12 bits uh, represent the units, the second four represent the tens, and the third four uh, represent the hundreds of the VCD number we want to display. Then we have the for loop, uh, and inside the for loop we are uh, checking uh, the parts of the 12 bits we have, the first four bits and the second four bits and the third four bits. If any of them exceed the value 5, uh, we uh, we add uh, a three uh, to that board, and then we are shifting uh, our uh, BCD variable uh, one bit to the left. After the loop ends, we assign the uh, the tens, uh, the units, the tens and the hundreds to the corresponding uh, output vectors, and then the seven segment board, we are uh, uh, checking on the. Uh, the input to uh, output the correct value on the seven segment display of the board. And that's it for the software board. We are now proceeding with the inputs uh, with my colleague Abdon. So, we are using two sensors for this project. The first sensor is uh, measuring the light intensity inside the room, and the other sensor is measuring the humidity inside the soil. Uh, and now we will talk about the structure of the two sensors for the best assignments for both of them. Both sensors uh, have four pins. The first pin uh, on the left is the VCC, which is con uh, and the sensor needs five volt to operate. So we uh, connected the, VC the VCC to either the Arduino or the FPGA. Okay, and uh, we have also the ground, uh, the ground pin, which is the second one, and it's connected to the source of the VCC. And now we have two different outputs: a digital output and an analog output. But for the digital output, uh, uh, you need to adjust a threshold, and it will uh, get and it will give a zero if it's uh, behind this threshold, and if it will give a one if it's above it. But uh, this is not convenient for our project because we have uh, divided our uh, we have divided our range uh, for uh, four different three or four different uh, ranges, 
and this will be will not be convenient for the digital output. So we need to use the analog output. And uh, we know that the FPGA cannot work on analog uh, signals, so we need to convert it for digital first. So we have used an Arduino for that. That will take an analog signal and it will convert it to a digital one. But uh, the analog coming from the sensor uh, is in the range from 0 to 1023, which needs a 10 bits. And since we are using two sensors, um, we need 20 bits to, for the digital output of both of them. Uh, but for the Arduino, we, uh, for the FPGA, sorry, uh, excuse me, for the FPGA, we have uh, only uh, 16 bits uh, uh, that's connected, that are connected to the Arduino. So we will divide bo uh, both values uh, of the sensors by 4. So it will be in the range from 0 to 245. And now my colleague Samir will explain how the relay works. I'm going to talk to you about the relay. Why the relay is important? Because it's considered an automated switch, which can control our four outputs. This relay works with 12 volt. We can get our 12 volt from this adapter. We connect the adapter here with the VCC and the ground of the relay. In the ground also we have the ground we get from the FPGA to close the circuit with the four controllers. We get also from the FPGA which are the outputs of our project. These four controllers control these four channels. We're gonna get this channel as an example. In the middle bin, we connect the voltage source which feeds this output. And in the left channel, in the left pin, we connect the positive end of this output. So when we have zero from the controller, this, uh, this voltage source are, con are not connected to the positive end and there is no current passes. And if we have one, the current passes from the voltage source to the output and turn it off, turn it on. And then we have Mahmoud to talk to you about the output. I will talk about the project output, which we have the pump and the cams. The pump uh, work to get uh, work to supply the soil with, with the needed water. It work with the 12 volt, which we get from the adapter. The pump work when the humidity sensor reads the value greater than 150. And, and they have the same state when the value is between 100 and 150 and it is then 100 the bump stop to work. The second output in our project is the lamp. The lamp provides the, the blank with the, with the needed light. The lamp work with 220 volt. The lamp work depending on the value of the sensor. When the value is less than 37, no lamp will turn on. When the value is from 37 to 75, one lamp will turn on. When the value is from 75 to 150, two lamps will turn on. When the value is greater than 150, the three lamps will work on. The value of the sensors is shown on the seventh segment of the FBGA. The three on the left show, uh, shows the three on the left shows the humidity sensor value, and the three on the right shows the photosensor uh, value. We will test our project to show you how it works. After we have connected all the components with, uh, with our laptops and we have uh, uploaded the code on the FPGA, now we can uh, we can read all the readings coming from the sensors. The first three digits are uh, coming from the LDR sensor, as you can see, uh, it's reading uh, almost 90, and that's because we have we are turning on the light of the room. And uh, the, the humidity sensor is reading 220 or, or however what it is. Uh, that's because the soil is not irrigated well. Um, and as soon as uh, we turn on uh, everything, uh, the relay will work and uh, the, the pump will work. So as you can see now, now the pump is working and we have only one lamp is working. That's because of the, of the light intensity of the whole room. Uh, so since we have tested the pump, now it's our turn to, uh, to test the, the LDR and the lamps that are working. Um, we will turn off the light now and we will see what will happen. So uh, now three, uh, three lamps have turned it on, that's because of, uh, uh, that's because of the, uh, the darkness inside the room. Huh? Um, we are going to test the flash, so uh, if we make the flash near the LDR, uh, the three lamps have turned it off. And once we try to make it harder, so that's our project and thank you.